Hey, this new chat GPT update is completely insane. I'm talking about the new agent mode and I'm about to show you exactly how it works. This thing can now control computers like a human. It can book your flights, make your spreadsheets, even order your groceries. And the crazy part, it's already live right now. Hey, if we haven't met already, I'm the digital avatar of Julian Goldie, CEO of SEO agency, Goldie Agency. Whilst he's helping clients get more leads and customers, I'm here to help you get the latest AI updates. So what just happened? OpenAI just dropped their biggest update ever, and most people have no idea this exists. They called it ChatGPT Agent Mode, and it's not just another chatbot upgrade. This thing actually takes control of a real computer. It clicks buttons, types, text, fills out forms, just like a human would. But here's what's wild about this. Most people are still using ChatGPT like it's 2023. They ask it questions, it gives answers, that's it. But this new update, it doesn't just give you answers anymore. It goes out and does the work for you. Let me show you exactly what I mean. You can now tell ChatGPT something like create a financial model for Tesla. And instead of just explaining how to do it, it opens up a spreadsheet, finds all the data online, builds the entire model and hands you the finished file. I'm not making this up. Here's how it works. You go into ChatGPT, you click on tools, then you select agent mode and boom, you're now connected to what they call a virtual computer. This computer has a web browser, it has spreadsheet software, it can run code, and ChatGPT controls all of it. Think about what this means. You could say, book me a flight to New York next week, and it will go to travel sites, compare prices, find the best option, and actually book the ticket with your permission, of course. But still, it's doing all the work. The crazy part is how it actually works. Open A, I gave this thing computer vision so it can see websites just like you do. It can see buttons, forms, images, everything. And then it uses what they call a computer using agent to interact with these sites. It literally moves the mouse, clicks buttons, types in forms, scrolls through pages. But here's where it gets really interesting. This isn't just theory anymore. I've seen it in action and some of the demos are mind blowing. They showed it planning an entire wedding, finding outfits that match the dress code, booking hotels around the event dates, creating shopping lists, all from one simple request. Now, let me tell you about the real world testing because I got my hands on this and I tested it myself. The first thing I tried was asking it to build a discounted cash flow model for Nvidia. This is complex stuff, requires finding financial data, building formulas, formatting everything properly. And you know what happened? It went to work. I could watch it in real time. It opened a browser, searched for Nvidia's financial statements, found the latest earnings reports, started building the model step by step. And after about 10 minutes, it handed me a complete DCF model with proper formatting, all the assumptions laid out, everything you'd expect from a finance analyst. But here's the thing that surprised me most. You can actually watch it work. There's this desktop view where you see exactly what it's doing. You watch it navigate websites, see it extract data, watch it build your spreadsheets in real time. It's like having a virtual employee that you can monitor. The speed is impressive too. For simple tasks, it works pretty fast. Now let's talk about what this means for your business. Because this isn't just a cool tech demo, this could change how you work completely. Think about all the repetitive tasks you do. Data entry, research, creating reports, booking travel, managing spreadsheets, all of that can now be automated. But here's what most people are missing. This isn't just about saving time, it's about scaling your capabilities. You could run multiple research projects at once, create presentations while you are in meetings, have it monitor your competitors while you focus on strategy. The applications are endless. For SEO work, you could have it audit competitor sites, research keywords, analyze backlink profiles. For marketing, it could research industry trends, create content calendars, build campaign reports. For sales, it could research prospects, prepare meeting materials, track leads. But let me be honest about the limitations because it's not perfect yet. Sometimes it gets stuck. I had it working on a presentation about AI agents and it just sat there thinking for way too long. Sometimes it ignores your instructions. I told it to skip the research and just create the presentation, but it went back to researching anyway. The speed can be inconsistent too. Simple tasks are fast, but complex projects can take 10 to 15 minutes or more. And sometimes websites block it, which makes sense since it's essentially a bot browsing the web. Here's what's really interesting about the pricing. This feature is only available on paid plans. ChatGPT Plus costs $20 a month and you get 40 agent queries per month. ChatGPT Pro is $200 a month and you get 400 queries. That might sound like a lot, but if you're using this for business, those queries go fast. Now let me tell you about the safety features. 
because this thing has access to your browser. It can log into websites with your permission. So OpenAI built in some protections. It won't do high risk actions without asking. Things like sending emails, making purchases, transferring money. It always asks for permission first. You can also take control at any time. There's a takeover mode where you can jump in and control the browser yourself. You can stop tasks, change directions, or just watch what it's doing. The control stays with you. But here's what I think most people are missing. This isn't just ChatGPT getting better. This is the beginning of true AI agents. These are AI systems that don't just answer questions. They actually do things in the real world. And we're seeing this trend everywhere. The reason is simple. Text generation was just the first step. The real value comes when AI can take actions, when it can interact with software, browse the web, complete tasks, that's when AI becomes truly useful for business. And here's the kicker. This is just the beginning. OpenAI says this is an early step. They're planning to add more features, more tools, more capabilities. We might see integration with more software, better speed, higher accuracy. This could become the operating system for knowledge work. Let me give you some practical examples of how you could use this today. If you're in content creation, you could have it research trending topics, compile data for articles, create social media content calendars. For e-commerce, it could research suppliers, analyze competitor pricing, create product comparison charts. For consulting, this is a game changer. You could have it research client industries, prepare presentation materials, analyze market data, create detailed reports, while you focus on strategy and client relationships. Now, let me address the elephant in the room. Job displacement. Yes, this technology will change how work gets done, but history shows us something important. New technology creates new opportunities. The question isn't whether AI will change work. The question is whether you'll adapt to use it. The companies that embrace this early will have a massive advantage. While their competitors are still doing manual research, they'll be running multiple projects simultaneously. While others are building spreadsheets, they'll be analyzing data and making decisions. Here's my prediction. Within two years, having an AI agent will be as common as having email. The businesses that figure this out early will dominate their markets. The ones that ignore it will struggle to compete. And it's not just about big companies. Small businesses and freelancers might benefit even more. You could compete with larger firms by having AI handle your research, your data analysis, your report creation, level the playing field completely. Start with small projects, simple research tasks, basic spreadsheet work. Get comfortable with how it works, then gradually try more complex projects, see what it can and can't do well. The learning curve is actually pretty gentle. If you can use ChatGPT, you can use agent mode. The interface is the same. You just get access to much more powerful capabilities. Now, I want to be clear about something. This isn't going to replace human expertise. You still need to understand your business, make strategic decisions, build relationships, but it can handle the grunt work, the research, the data compilation, the report formatting. Think of it as having a really capable intern. Someone who can follow detailed instructions, work quickly, handle multiple projects, but still needs guidance and oversight. But let's talk about the bigger picture. This agent mode is part of something called the computer using agent model. It's trained specifically to interact with graphical interfaces, to understand buttons, forms, menus, everything you see on a screen. This is significant because most AI models are trained on text, but real work happens in software, in browsers, in applications, this model bridges that gap. It can actually use software like a human would. And here's what's coming next. OpenAI plans to integrate this deeper into ChatGPT, add more tools, improve the speed, expand the capabilities. We might see integration with Microsoft Office, Google Workspace, CRM systems. The possibilities are endless. For agencies like mine, this could change everything. Imagine having AI that can update client reports, analyze campaign performance, create presentation materials, while you focus on strategy and client relationships, the time savings alone would be massive, but the real value is in the scale. You could serve more clients, take on bigger projects, compete with larger agencies, all because you have AI handling the operational work. Julian Goldie reads every comment, so make sure you comment below with what you want to see tested next. Should I try building entire marketing campaigns, analyzing website performance, creating business plans? Let me know what would help your business most. Now, if you want to really scale your business with AI automation, you need to check out my AI Profit Boardroom. It's the best place to scale your business, get more customers, and save hundreds with AI automation. We currently have 1,000 members who are already transforming their businesses with these exact strategies. If you're serious about getting more traffic and customers for your business, 
you need to book a free SEO strategy session. The link is in the comments and description. We'll analyze your website, identify opportunities, and show you exactly how to dominate your competition. And here's something special. We have a complete SOP and process inside the AI Success Lab. Link is in the comments and description with over 100 use cases. You see how I show a checklist of 100 different tutorials that we give away as freebies every day inside the school feed. You can get all the video notes from there and all the other resources along with all the trainings in the AI Success Lab. On top of that, it now has 14,000 members because people feel like they're missing out and they want to be part of something bigger than them. This chat GPT agent update is just the beginning. The businesses that embrace this technology now will dominate their markets in the next few years. The question isn't whether AI will change your industry. The question is whether you'll be ready when it does. Start testing this today. See what it can do for your business. And remember, the early adopters always win in technology. Don't let your competitors get ahead while you're still figuring out the basics. This is the future of work and it's available right now. The only question is, what are you going to do with it?